so many souls lost. Surely someone else survived. I'll take care of it. I'll handle this. Looking better, Casita. That, or I'm worse off than I thought. <laughs> it's my leg, Matiko. It hurts even worse than it looks. I was a stubborn Postenaga. I was trying to fasten this mess down when we struck shore. Barrel rolled right over my leg. <laughs> Everything we've been through and I'm nearly done in by a cask of rum. <laughs> Funny thing, it's hard to see much from the underside of a barrel. I wasn't planning on going for a run, Casita. It still hurts, but I can manage from here. Agrasima, have you found any of the others yet? I'll start a fire. If any of the others are out there, hopefully they'll see it and turn up. Hey, fancy seeing you here. I can't see much of anything, really, apart from you. Just endless gray. What happened? Storm? That's strange. You'd think a man would recall a storm. It's like, it's like someone cut away a part of my memory. There's just this big black hole. It's weird. I thought death would be different. 
big light and so on, but I don't see anything at all. Just you. Oh, suppose that sounds nice enough. I'll follow you then, shall I? Still see. Zooey! Zooey! Watcher, over here. Yes. It is good to see you well, Watcher. I believe the boars were hoping for easy meat. The bosun, Beadil, is in that cave over there. Ran in after a boar. Stubborn old dwarf. I was able to calm one of the boars with a spell. For a time, at least. By the time I was through, I had lost sight of Beadil. I remained here, hoping he would return quickly. He has not. After we made landfall, you mean? I woke and Beadil was close by, swearing fit to bring Andra's wrath upon us a second time. We began to search for supplies. I came over this way in hopes of gathering some of that blood moss over there. I thought it might be of use. I imagine the boars had the same idea. I will make for the campfire. I must get this pistol cleaned if it's going to be of any use. Be careful in there, Captain. I guess we're not the first to head this way. I'll handle this.
Watch it. Hey. Sure. I'll take care of it. I'll have this.
a metal killing machine doing out here by himself in a cave? Collecting his thoughts? about as good as it smells at this point. I'll take you. I'll have sadly. Well, that's gonna be hard to clean. Damned pirates! Andra, take your scabrous souls for fish food. Feodal! Still alive and calling everybody Scabrous, I see. Well, now we got a bosun. Just need a boat. Adair! And I see that corpse we've been carting around is looking a slight more sprightly. Good to see the two of you, but mind your step. I've got myself in a spot of trouble. Been trying to find a way past without losing a leg or getting a face full of poison. Well, they sting something fierce, so mind yourself. Take a gander over there. Take a gander over there. You see that? What do you need? Well, don't see why not. Would you look at that? I'll take care of this. Oh. Ah, bless you, Lord. Would have been a sorry way to go. Caught up in a dead pirate's trap. It's just bats and stinking corpses in this cave. You find anyone else? Then I'll head that way myself. See you on the beach, Captain. I shall.
They warned me strange things would come following you, Watcher. What a mess. We'll be needing help getting the Defiant off the ground. We got turned around in that storm. Hard to be sure just where we are. Not much chance of us moving the ship on our own, but we're in charted waters. There's bound to be a town nearby. The Yodel said you had to bail him out of trouble. Diverus? Was he crying? You can tell me. Oh, quiet! You were under a damned barrel! Of course. Here, my flame burns yet. Is that ye? You woke just in time for the fun. Fighting off motherless raiders one moment, flung into the freezing depths of Andra's bosom the next. Aye, Magran learns us poor bastards that a little excitement's good for the heart. Aye, but almost mad ain't fully mad. Ah, old Durance. The goddess shan't forge another like him in our lives, Captain. Can we go back on the ship now? That's unkind. You're the one decided to pluck this wean from the wilds of Eir Glanforth. Blame that stone steward of yours for bringing the furry maid along. Uncle Engram, you promised me ale. Later, sweetie. Uncle Engram's thirsty too. Captain, I found some supplies must have washed ashore. Even better, I've located some spirits. The mundane kind, I mean. Nothing that requires your talents, Watcher. Not a one. We've come away from this one limping, Captain. But we live to see the next battle through. It's just the lot of us now, Captain. You'd best head into town, see about supplies and repairs. I'll keep an eye on the ship. Kithrev here. I ken that much. Means we're a sight better off than we could be. Of course, it's surely pirate territory. They have a number of bolt holes out this way. I'd nay be surprised if that cave up north is one of them. Could be they lie in wait for us even as we speak. to be alive. I shall. Admiring my outfit? I'm afraid not. Yes?
Better see what that crowd's about. What if the giant comes this way? Please, everyone stay calm. Please, everyone remain calm. I assure you I will do everything in my power to get you the answers you need. Our friends among the Juana have offered you hospitality and safety from the storms. Yes, yes. I think we are all keenly aware of the debt of gratitude we owe to the... I have personally seen to the safety of your homes. Now you will do the same for our families. What about our families? What about the ships? How are we supposed to feed ourselves? If everyone would... It's one of the pirates! Two of my guards reported a ship flying deer wooden colors. Fallen prey to a private vessel. That would be your ship, I assume. That would make him lucky. Your own vessels do not usually fare so well. Quite. Perkin Plank, everyone, forgive me. I believe this matter requires my attention. You have my word that I will keep you apprised of any changes. Especially you, Mr. Ikawa. Do not flatter me with Valian titles. You are distracted with your newcomer and wish me gone. But I will not go far, Governor Clario. Grade. As for you, stranger, let us speak at my estate. We'll discuss your predicament. What marvelous carvings! Oh, yes. This one is many centuries old. Blessed by Ngati herself. Magnificent! Ah, yes, there you are. As governor and under the auspices of the Valian Trading Company, please allow me to officially welcome you to Port Marge. Apologies for that little drama outside. These are confusing times, and people often react poorly to uncertainty. Between the storm, the pirates, and the, well, certain strange events, we are all a little on edge. A few... Well, quite a few people here in Port Marge claim to have seen a giant of some kind during the storm. I would call it a flight of fancy, but unless something has tainted every well in the region, I do not think it can be ignored. But then, the Dead Fire is a land full of such things. You must have heard the stories. You'll find good company among the Dawn Stars here in town. They have all manner of theories concerning the behemoth. Now, to the matter of your ship. You're stranded, are you? It was a rough landing by all reports. Unfortunately, our own ships are in no condition to sail. We've had dealings with the pirates ourselves. They've taken their share of supply ships. The storm saw to those birthed in the harbor. All that said, I believe I may have a solution, provided you're willing to help me in turn. Cadnua? A dear wooden castle, is it? An interesting proposal, to be sure, but I'm afraid the matter at hand is rather urgent. I have the guards on the lookout for pirate vessels looking to take advantage of whatever damage the storm caused. 
We've cannons enough to see them off, but I need every man ready to use them. There is a site of some considerable value elsewhere on the island. A value to the trading company, you understand. In point of fact, it's the very reason any of us are here. You're familiar with the luminous Adra trade? Well, luminous Adra is to Adra what a fine wine is to... Uh, well, never mind that. The point is that it is a particularly potent material, suffused with essence, and it is only found right here in the Deadfire Archipelago. It's also quite valuable. When refined, it sells for considerable sums. The trading company has invested a lot of time and money into locating sites suitable for mining and processing. That's a, a colorful way of putting it. Energy really is more apt. It's not quite a matter of digging up the spirit of your old grandmother. We, and I hope you understand that these matters require some discretion, have one such outpost on the other side of the island. Asics, we sought to improve the refinement process. To that end, we hired some of the brightest minds in the field of animancy and brought them out here to lend their expertise. And then one evening, a storm rolls in out of nowhere and my scouts begin to report that a giant has marched its way across the island towards my dig site. What am I to make of that? We haven't heard from Mestre Odorisi since, nor any of his assistants or the workers. I must know what has happened. If Odorisi, if his work is lost, then everything that we have worked for is at risk. Which is where you come in. You need a ship, I need information. See to this for me, and I'll set half the town to work. We'll patch up your ship, and you'll be free to go on your way. Gilard, then we are agreed. I will assign men to keep watch over your ship. You will find the dig site on the eastern side of the island. I'll mark it on your map here. One more thing. If you should recover Odorisi's notes, know that they would be of great value to me.